Hello and welcome to a spreadsheet. So yeah, the programming thing. First, let's actually show you what's cool. And that is hopefully, well, it takes a little while to generate. And I also made the stars bigger than they normally are so that you could hopefully see them even though uh, encoding this and re-encoding it might screw things up a little bit or if you're viewing at a smaller resolution. But as you can see, we have basically a star field here that is scrolling and it will generate infinitely. And uh, right now I just have it auto scrolling, but uh, I could very easily set it up to where you can move around and move it at different rates and everything. And it'll all like hold together properly as long as you use integers for how you move through it. Because let me go through real fast and show you what happens if you don't. So this little bit of code here is essentially what makes it uh, go through like that and uh, this times 100 right here is making it go 100 times faster than real time speed because else it would be crawling by very very slowly. I'm going to go here and I'm going to make it plus 1.1. 1 .1. Now if we run it once it generates it takes a while to generate that's something I'm looking to hopefully fix because as you can see it's taking quite a while to start and you can see this log over here that says uh, repeated thing. Wow. Yeah seizure warning sorry. Um, as you saw in that log briefly before I closed that because it was a horrible mess, um, it's it's a it, it takes a while. Like see that time it was really quick, but it takes a while to actually generate all the stars to generate an acceptable star field. And essentially what it's doing in the background is it starts. There's essentially a um, there's an offset value which is essentially the seed of what's going on, and then there's a which call it, and then there's a threshold value which is essentially do I print a star at this location? And it's based on basically the love love engine's simplex noise function in two dimensions, which um, will generate this kind of randomness that I want here. And will basically allow you to generate an infinite procedural field without having to save anything. So I could just throw it in there and go forever. Um, it's something I don't really understand. And that's part of the problem, why I've had a problem making it. And it's also probably part of why it was so slow to generate. And, you know, I had problems with it. Like uh, right now, like that thing I just showed you briefly where I entered a non-integer into it. And essentially, integer values will give constant results for some reason. Something to do with how simplex noise works. I, I don't understand it, like I said. But um, so you have to always move by an integer. And any value that's not an integer, that value is essentially the seed of how it's being random. That, as far as I understand it, that's how it's working. But like I said, I don't understand it. I'm trying to figure it out. So that may be completely wrong. So if you're, if you're trying to learn this yourself, don't take my word for it. I don't know. But um, yeah, so like I said, star field generation, I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to leave that alone for now. And I'm going to go back to those charts. So these charts, this is data from a hundred successfully generated um, star fields. And so this OY versus OX chart here, this graph, uh, that's saying the offsets, which are, like I said, between zero and one, as you can see there, uh, there's, there's this kind of pattern forming where there's like these uh, lines going across here, which is kind of interesting. Uh, there's this threshold OX and OY where you can see that the threshold stays pretty close to one, which is, um, eh. It's not that surprising. It's kind of what I expected. I expected that to be fairly constant. In fact, I actually expected that to be a constant. I didn't expect to have to vary it at all, but it ended up being something I needed to vary. And the OX and OY kind of are all over the place. However, I noticed there is a bit of similarity between them. Like they do somewhat follow similar patterns, but then here it's like completely different. Um, so I, I don't really know. And then you can see here this count, uh, histogram of count, essentially that's saying how many times does a particular number occur in the count field, which the count is how many stars. So you can notice most are around 160 to 170. Um, there's fewer in the 150 range. There's a bit more in the 180 to 190 and you can see it it drops off very dramatically as you get to 200. Um, another thing you might have noticed if you were looking closely is how many of these are complete duplicates. There's a lot of duplicates like the exact same values. It happens a lot. Like I, I'm wondering how many unique combinations are there because I see so many that are the exact same and so I, I like I said, I don't really understand it, and that's where this is kind of interesting to me. Here's some data from 500 generated systems. So again, there's a lot of exact duplicates, like I was saying, 
and you can see histogram of counts. You can see it's a bit more flushed out. We can see that there definitely is a spike between 155 and 160. It drops around that, and then there's this uh, little range of 170 to 200 and five or so that's kind of a bit higher and then it drops down a bit spikes up a little but you know I, I I don't really know what the conclusions to draw from that are um histogram of thresholds so like I said it mostly sticks around 0.98 to 0.99 as you can see here but um, it does drop off a bit and there are quite a few that are in this lower range and that seems fairly random there I'm not really again I'm not really sure exactly what conclusion to draw from this um, the really interesting thing to me though is when you look at this OY versus OX here there's a there's this kind of little gap here and th there's like these gaps and there's this very definite pattern but I don't know what it means uh, I don't know if it's significant or not, and I don't know if it's an artifact of random generation or if it's an artifact of simplex noise, or I don't understand where it's coming from, and that is the interesting thing to me. I also have this, which is, oh yes, I was trying to add another chart on it. Let's see, uh, do I want to, which one of these charts do I want to do? I want to do a uh, scatter. Okay, that's going to that's gonna take a while for it to actually... Oh, okay, there we go. So this is a scatter of failures. This, this, um, this uh, chart is 9,000-something generated systems, but these were ones that were rejected for being... Um, essentially for being wrong, not what I want. Um, let me just move it over here. It's... Uh, like I said, it's, it's, it, they, they, basically this is systems with either too few or too many stars. Actually, no, it, it would only be too many because essentially it starts with none or almost none and then slowly generates up. And then there's a small range that I consider acceptable. And so sometimes it, it goes from small to past that small range that I consider acceptable. And so that's what leads to these, these ones, these 9,000 examples here, which again, I am seeing a lot of duplicates now that I'm looking at it right here. Um, but like I said, there's this, there's this, uh, oh, I didn't want to do that. There's this, as you can see, there's this pattern. There's this definite pattern where in this case, you see the gaps here and those gaps are where it successfully generates. And then over here, you can see on this chart, these gaps, it, it matches somewhat, but it's kind of messy. It's not an exact match. So there's kind of some sort of weird property going on there that I don't understand. And so, yeah, that's the thing I'm working on. Essentially, like I said, it's a star field. Uh, it essentially it essentially works by uh, basically having just having a threshold that you go, if if the noise value is above that threshold, then draw a point there. And it bases also uh, the CXCY is uh, the camera X and Y and then we have our self OX and OY which are the offset so C for camera O for offset and then um, we're looping from the start of the, from the top left corner of the screen to the bottom right corner and just saying hey do we draw a star here and so essentially I, I made it real fast uh, this is the version I made quick and dirty to try out and see if it would even work and then after messing with it for a bit I realized that I basically as you can see this comment here start with the threshold of 0.99 bring down until stars values between 150 and 250 if cannot fit in this range go for a new seed and that's essentially what it does uh, here when it goes through and does all this and um, as it says right here this is stupid my code is really stupid I'm pretty sure there's a much better way to do this I don't know what that way is I need to learn that but um, essentially this is what what I did today um, in the past uh, two hours two no three hours yeah in the past three hours I've been working on this and uh, it's exciting to me because I have two uh, prototypes that I've all I think two prototypes I have two prototypes yeah two prototypes already made that needed a star field and I just hadn't built one before and now I have a, uh, a, a third idea that I'm thinking about trying although it's really complicated and I probably shouldn't I probably should go for something simpler but uh, I really want to do it and if I did do it it would be um, it would use this as well so yeah um, I'll post this on github at some point I uh, don't know if I'll do that 
right after the video or a bit later, uh, someone remind me if you care. If you've stumbled across this and you care, remind me. I will reply to your comment and I will put it up and be like, here it is. You can go do the things if you want. So just, like I said, let me know because I am a forgetful sort. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and talk about me a little bit. Uh, I ended up getting World of Warcraft um, unintentionally because I went with some friends to see the movie and they gave out keys for... 30 days or something uh, on that. So I, I'm going to try that. Um, hopefully not get addicted. Uh, I probably won't. I, I tend to be uh, I tend to be the kind of person who gets really into a game for a little while and then kind of forgets about it. So I'll probably be really into it for a couple of days. Might make a video. I mean, probably not. If I did, it would be me failing. Um, overall, I'm doing a lot better. Uh, trying to get back on schedule, get busy with things, do stuff. Uh, I mean, I was programming. That's good because I haven't like really been programming in a very long time, and it's definitely something I need to get back to and enjoy again. So yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in space.